Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is pretty straightforward. It is the 2D Game Creation Mega Bundle. If you are not into 2D, there is not much here for you. If you are looking for 2D, definitely got some good art here for, especially if you're prototyping, a lot of packs here for a specific genre or type of game. Uh, this is from the Game Dev Marketplace. The top tier bundle gives you uh, almost 50 items for uh, $25 USD. Uh, there is a median tier, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because you're getting a lot less items for almost the same price. And at the $1 tier, you're getting uh, mostly backgrounds here, by the way. So that's what you're getting in this particular bundle. I'll show you a couple of these in action. Also go into the licensing details and so on for what you can do with these. Generally, the license is quite permissive in what it lets you do. So uh, again, 50 items here. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do it. Thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. Now let's go take a look. This is uh, some of the assets that's thrown together into a Godot demo. I also have some audio. So there are some soundtracks here. That's pretty quiet. Hopefully you can hear that a little bit in the background. Uh, so there are uh, some sound effects and music packs in here as well. Uh, what you're seeing here is a, a animated sprite kit. These are available in a number of different formats. Generally, this was vector graphics to start with, but it's been rendered out to a series of PNGs. So if we go ahead and look at this guy, you'll see exactly what I mean. So there is one of the animation sequences available. There is another set of the animation sequences available. Uh, there's about six or seven different animation sets for this character, and there's a ton of characters in this particular pack. So this is one of the examples. This is another one of the examples. This is the background graphics. Um, I think it was also modular, so you can rearrange things however you wish. A number of different background packs in each pack. Uh, so uh, if you're looking to quick prototype, this is the graphic style of a lot of these assets. Now these are from different creators, so some things you get uh, a much different result. So for example, there is also a car creation kit here. Uh, so you can see a variety of different cars in that pack. You also have things like this guy right here, uh, which is actually a... Um, this is a uh, atlas. So you see here, all the various different UI elements are together within that sprite atlas. So if you're doing UI elements for a racing style game, uh, it's got you set there. So that's kind of an example of the sort of assets we're dealing with here. A lot of times you're dealing with vector graphics in this. Uh, for example, the car packs we're looking at are vector graphics. Uh, they are available in a variety of different formats as well, including like Adobe Illustrator, SVG, etc. And that's cool because what it allows you to do is come in, select individual elements like this, and let's say that the main car itself like that and then the other part of the car right here like that and then you can see how you can make uh, almost an infinite variety so if you're not really that artistically inclined and you're creating a car game you can create a wide variety of things by the way there's also SVG support in Godot now so you'd be actually able to do this dynamically uh, with a little bit of coding which is actually kind of cool uh, so again the pack is uh, organized into various different tiers we'll go through all of them really quick so here's how the actual assets I downloaded look uh, music is pretty straightforward it's a collection of uh, basically songs into different themes, all available as WAV format files. Uh, then, so that's the ultimate music library. Uh, background set was uh, 10 different background images. So you're gonna see here, you've got rendered out to PNGs. So the various different pieces that go together to create that background. Or you can often see like a full blown version of it. Plus you get things like illustrator versions, etc. So I think I did one. So here you can see actually like a rendered version of it available right here came up on the wrong screen so let's bring that back up so like that but at the same time you've also got all the various different pieces that go together to create it so your background pack have about 10 of those but the big thing you're going to want to notice here is most of these packs are available in a couple of different formats so here you're getting them in EPS Adobe Illustrator as well as the various different ping versions or PNG versions so you're pretty much set there uh, now the character so the racing game this is a full racing game kit so you've got things like the cars, again, in a variety of formats, PSD, uh, which is Photoshop, SVG, PNG, uh, PostScript, uh, and Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so you got a variety of different format cars there. Uh, and then, again, each one is, since it's available as a vector graphic, if you have something like Illustrator, Inkscape, or in my case, Affinity Designer, uh, you can make a lot of modifications to them. On top of that, you also have the atlases here. Uh, I'll show you as PNG, but they're available in all those formats as well. These are things for, like, your UI um, in various different layers, so menu layers, menu options. So if you're putting together a menu, you can have various different graphics that go together here. Uh, and I showed you really quickly how to use those via a Sprite Atlas using uh, um, the Godot game engine. But there's a variety of options for dealing with these things. Again, available in most major formats, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then what else? Okay, so the character. So we saw the Big Head King right here. Again, it's rendered out 
as ping sequences, a number of different animations, way more than I actually said. So you're looking at about 15 or 20 animations there. So kicking animation, there you see the individual frames. At the same time, if you're using the paper doll support, um, like vector or spine or something, you've also got all the various different pieces that go together so you can animate him and kind of compose it yourself in one of those tools as well. So these things are available in a variety of different formats in uh, a, a huge number of stuff here. So here, let's go see a rock monster. Rock Monster 3, Ping AI, and so Adobe Illustrator, Ping, and EPS in this particular case. And then again, all rendered out. A variety of different frames available here. So let's see the running frames here. So each individual frame, they all go together to create your character. So that is the uh, the bundle itself. I, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail what you're getting here, but you see here the character bundle that we just looked at uh, is available here. One thing to be aware of, this one is actually pre-configured for spine. If you're not using spine, you're going to have to do a little bit of setup work. We saw this guy. This is the cars asset there. Uh, you got some kits here. So you got another car pack here of cars that would go well and synergize with that pack. Uh, these are full-blown kits for creating an entire game. These are actually kind of useful if you're just learning because you got everything in one place you can work with um animated uh zombies variety of different characters uh some ui sets and then we get some sound effect packs here for like zombies and military radio sounds 8-bit sound effects monsters rpg music there's the music library we looked at earlier this has 260 wave files in it this one also has 274 wave files in it so a ton of music there all in wave format uh, character creator, basically these are generally set up as um, a bunch of vector graphics you could compose together, paper doll style. Uh, RPG, cute RPG builders set up, more sound effects packs. We got some tiling textures in here as well. Uh, and then we got some more game kits um, for a particular guy, block game, shooter games, so on. Um, a bunch of shooter game actually style things here. Uh, and then got a bunch of UI packs, icons, and so on and so forth, and then a variety of different game backgrounds. And again, most of these are modular, so uh, you can adapt them into your own setting. And again, with them being vector graphics space, you can actually make simple modifications to them. So if you need to extend it beyond what it's provided, uh, even if with somewhat minimal artistic skill, uh, you should be able to go ahead and do that. Uh, so in terms of what you actually get here, you get a redemption key, you redeem it on the game dev marketplace, and then they're all available there. So as you can see right here, all of the various different assets from all the various different tiers are available for download now their download speeds are decent uh, so no problems in that regard uh, in terms of the licensing it is under their pro license honestly it's pretty straightforward at least when i went through this in the past the license boils down to uh, you can you can use these assets commercially you can't reship them as assets so that means you couldn't publish them up on an asset store also here's one of the big gotchas for some of you is you won't be able to use these in an open source project at least not one where you distribute the assets with it because you do not have the rights to redistribute the assets as assets but otherwise you're generally okay with the licensing i'm not your lawyer i am not a lawyer i recommend you checking this one out yourself before you purchase them but Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. The 2D Game Creation Mega Bundle, a huge collection of mostly 2D assets. We've got some sound effects and music in there as well uh, from the Game Dev Marketplace. I'm curious what you think of this bundle, of these assets. Of course, do know there are free options out there. You've always got Kenny stuff, etc. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes you just want something a bit different. And 25 bucks, it's a pretty reasonable price, even if you're just using them for prototyping. Uh, the nice thing is the game kits generally give you enough to lurk, learn a full project there, everything you need to get going. Uh, and that is definitely nice, especially when you're looking for some kind of a game to learn from when you're just starting out. But I'm curious, what do you think of these assets? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.